When Donald Trump called NFL players to task for choosing to protest during the national anthem, he may not have known what an avalanche of animosity he was creating. And with the protests showing no signs of stopping heading into the 12th week of the NFL season, President Trump apparently still has them on his mind. So much so that he fired off more tweets about them Wednesday morning. From the outset, the protesters have been clear that they're not protesting the national anthem or the flag but rather police violence against the black community. They've only chosen to protest during the national anthem, though, and the explanation has not been well received by many. The NFL is now thinking about a new idea keeping teams in the locker room during the national anthem next season. That's almost as bad as kneeling. When will the highly paid commissioner finally get tough and smart? This issue is killing your league. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 22, 2017 is a businessman. Trump understands that most things come down to dollars and cents, and Americans taking offense to the NFL protests means that people are in and attending fewer games. TV ratings are also down 7% from the 2016 season, and all of that means teams are losing big money. The lower ratings don't just hurt the NFL, they hurt the businesses that buy ad space during games, and those businesses employ American people. The ripple effect is massive. Trump's point is that the protests aren't working, because many Americans are incensed by them and don't care for the nuance. And not even showing up to the field until after the anthem is performed may only anger Americans all the more.